With the A-League team away in Perth all week, Paul Temple took a young Phoenix reserve side to Kiwatia Street to face the unbeaten competition leaders. Auckland City coach Jose Figueda made a number of changes as he rotated his starting 11, possibly with an eye to the upcoming OFC Champions League group stage starting soon. The Phoenix sat deep, not surprisingly employing the same defensive structure as their first team, which meant the Navy Blues enjoyed the lion's share of possession and territory in the opening stages. There was plenty of lateral movement and long diagonal balls from the home side as they tried to pierce the Phoenix's defensive lines. When the shots did come, they found Ollie Sale in the Phoenix goal in the same excellent form he showed last week against Team Wellington. The pressure was building and Maya Bevan should have opened the scoring on 17 minutes. However, just two minutes later, a beautiful one and two touch passing move tore through the Phoenix and ended with Clayton Lewis untroubled to score into an open goal. This was Auckland City at their best. Auckland City's second was an unfortunate blunder from Sale. Mario Illich was starting for the first time in a number of weeks and he easily read Sale's pass. It was a clinical finish to double his side's advantage just after the half hour mark. Bevan could have made it three before the break but again Sale somehow found a way to keep it out. The first half was one way traffic and many at the ground probably thought more of the same would be in store in the second 45. However that was not to be the case. A double substitution from Paul Temple gave the Phoenix more cutting edge and Anouk Zubi Karai was finally called into action to save well from Byron Heath. Jordan Vale and Alfie Rogers were getting well forward for Auckland City and Vale got a chance to score after Tade's strike was parried. Then came a moment of the highest quality. The Phoenix combined well through the centre of the park to get the ball to Ben Wayne. Faced with a wall of blue, his strike was inch perfect to get his side back in the contest. Unfortunately, Auckland City simply lifted a notch and Tade and Lewis reversed the roles from the first goal. Lewis to Tade, Tade strike 3-1. But this one wasn't done just yet. Riley Bedouard, one of the halftime substitutes, had looked dangerous since entering the game. And when he got in behind the defence, his cross and Angar Belunga's unfortunate deflection set up an enthralling final 15 minutes. Suddenly, it was the league leaders that were looking unsteady at the back. Ben Wayne had a shout for a penalty, but the referee was well positioned and took no interest. Then a Bedouin header flashed over the bar from very close range. And finally, Bedouin again could have salvaged a point after Sale had made a nuisance of himself in the dying stages. Yeah, first half was really good, I think, from the lads. 2 0 going to half time, pretty comfortable. But credit to the, you know, the young Wenix team for coming out fighting the second half and you know, creating a bit of a, a game for us at the end.